Hello and welcome to IndiaGlitz.com. My name is Salil, once again your friendly neighborhood reviewer, reporting for duty. Happy Diwali everyone. Hope you guys have a fantastic year, full of prosperity. Lakshmi comes to your house, Saraswati teaches you so much more. But I just hope one thing, that what's happened in the last month or so leading up to this day, where both the films were in the news for not the right reasons, I hope that never happens again. We're talking about the very, very publicized Air Dilai Mushkil vs. Shivai battle. I choose Air Dilai Mushkil over Shivai. And I'll tell you why today. Now, Karan Johar proceeded to make a film that was about, well, mature emotion. You know, I'll tell you something. One of the best films that I'd seen in the last 10 years was Kabhi Alvida Na Kena. I was standing outside my, my building, you know. And I have these ladies, you know, who love to gossip. And you know, possibly, uh, for them, films is just something that they watch on television. If it's really good, and if five, 7,000 people have told them it's really good, then they'll spend the money to go watch it. So this is what they planned. They said, Kank, Chi, kya film banai? I'll never watch a film like Karan Johar makes. Unko real emotion samaj mein nahi aata. That's the point. What is a real emotion? Is it the urban India? That is an emotion that Karan Johar possibly caters to? Or is emotion not defined by where you live or the kind of house that you live in? Well, in this film, he made me realize dead emotions still existed inside of me. In spite of having almost everything that I want, I still feel so alone at times. That is the struggle that a Ranbir Kapoor in this film goes through. He has everything. He's got these private jets. He's very rich. But yet there's something missing in his face. There's something missing in his life. His eyes are searching. This was a really big film for Ranbir Kapoor because obviously films at the box office not succeeding but even if it's a Besharam or a Bombay Velvet, he's never faulted as far as his acting is concerned. If there's a better actor today in Bollywood, I don't know who that is. He's so at ease when he dances, you know. It's not the hectic dance with the tree movements and all that. No, it's very chilled. It's flowy. His emotions are flowy. You know, when he's, he's doing all this, it's so real. It's not forced. Whether it's the emotion with Anushka or the super hot Aishwarya Rai in this film, it doesn't matter. Ranbir Kapoor is the life and soul of this film. Karan Johar is the life and soul of this film because he wrote it. He planned it. He visualized it. The songs just take you into your zone. I've shed a tear or two. You know, because not because I was watching the film, but because I was going into my own life. And when a filmmaker can make you transcend the barriers that is there with just one small screen in front, he has succeeded. So applause for Karan Johar where it's due. Applause for this magnificent work of art, Ranbir Kapoor, who will be unstoppable after this. Anushka Sharma does not possibly get a two every time. She's such a brave actress. A Mathuru Ki Bijli Ka Mandola will come against a Shah Rukh Khan. You know, does different films that people don't even remember because she just slips in and slips out. There's a PK in there. But you remember her lips. You forget that she's such an effortless actor. She holds it together, holds her own with Ranbir Kapoor, and that's what I love. Aishwarya Rai has never looked hotter. She was supposed to look hot. She was supposed to be oomph personified. She was supposed to make us want her, and we do. There's no question about it. The hottest woman in India today. Fawad Khan, Bawal, Pakistan. Should he have been in this film? He's barely there. The next time... People, politicians want to come against a film, at least watch the film before being made to look foolish when the film does release. Yes, of course, a few changes have possibly been made. There's the Shah Rukh Khan element. There's the, I won't tell you actually, there's another element in this film who's a DJ again like Fawad. Too cute, making that guest presence. And there's a queen in this. Really good. By the time this review comes out, you'll possibly have heard it from people. But my God, her Vatavaran is too cool. That girl is really cool. But I have to say this, this was an emotional roller coaster for me, especially the second half. The first 20 minutes is like a tamasha. But it's a play. I like the play, man. This is why Ye Jawani Ya Diwani worked for me. Because it was the play between the two of them with their eyes. This works for me. I cannot stop gushing about Ranbir Kapoor. He is... I'm so happy. This is like, you know, a homecoming for him. You hit it out of the ballpark, bro. And this is going to be your big one. As far as stars are concerned, yeah, the second half drags a little bit. There's a little bit of extra melodrama where I would have felt 15 minutes shorter would have really helped. I keep saying this, 15, 20 minutes shorter, but yeah, that's the truth. Four and a half stars, it really deserves its place in the sun. Edele Mushkil is not Mushkil, it's life. It's my life, Karan Jor, thank you so much.
If you guys want to stay in touch with me, Salil Acharya on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. The reviews will be out there always. It's always fun to get the comments. A lot of barbs come in there. A lot of critique comes in there. It's always fun. Like I said, it's a process of evolving. It's a process that is a virgin emotion for me. When I see it, I see it as I see it. And I hope that you like it that way, you know, because that's the way I want to keep it.